Niners flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. He tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Got a it's Judy complete. Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, as we settle in and get ready to watch the next chapter of this storied NFL rivalry unfold, we've likely noticed that lack of pregame theatrics in comparison to what we were used to last season. And I have to tell you, it's throwing me a little bit in preparation for this one because we don't have any of those quotes to sprinkle in or to look out for as we get into this one. Maybe it's because the guy who talked the most last year, he's out for this game, or maybe because they lost the season series. But just because they've been quiet doesn't mean it won't be intense. You and I know that. The bad blood is still there. And we did see what the defensive to start switch sides in this battle in the offseason. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 40. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. Position on him and he pulls it in. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in the play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. yards and a first down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That time he was looking for Jerry Judy, but it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. for him, and it's another first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And this time he's got the hook up. It's complete. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Another good completion on the drive as the Vikings have a first down. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Good position and it's put to him. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the Right now we're all even. It's
it's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set to take over. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Open he completes it to Judy. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They'll look to throw here on first down. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there. Nice first down. Drop keeps moving. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here. That's caught on the right side of Smith. A well-executed 22-yard gain. First and goal at the 9-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. And it's caught. And he will score. Touchdown. Justin Jefferson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Vikings have taken the lead. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. Try and start this drive in the air to Jefferson on the slant. The 40, the 30, 10, touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson, an 80 yard. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. They'll throw now on the final play. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And just like that, on we head to half number two. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. First and 10. Now here's the signal call. On first down, he'll drop to throw. They snag over 30 yards. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they look to throw. Complete. Jefferson the target. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. His first catch of this third quarter, he had seven in the first half. It's also a first down. Middle of the field to Jefferson. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Jefferson. Brad Smith. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 16. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get ten here. And the Vikings are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Consecutive catches for him. And the intercepted. And a bit. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. They look to throw. That's going to be caught by Judy. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Deal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. And that is incomplete. 
He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. And that'll bring up second down. trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but it'll be second down. It's now second and 10. of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by David Moore. And he'll be stopped shy of the 15. So this offense will head back out there already in excellent field position thanks to the interception. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. I'm part of it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A 5-yard touchdown. Both 
offenses have been clicking in this with a lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. third down they come up now third and five following the incomplete pass now they'll throw here out of the gun and he goes back with one complete the Packers going to use one of their timeouts and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down back to throw again Got his man complete over the middle. Brad Smith. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll look to throw again. a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Defense. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe and now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he wins the throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but it'll be second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Try to find Justin Jefferson there. But now it's third and goal. Brings up third and goal. And this is caught. And they could seal it. It's a touchdown. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw. And it's caught inside the five. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he's got it, touchdown. Oh, but there is a marker on the field. So now the question, who is this on? Pushing foul, nothing to pass with defense. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline <laughs> the penalty, no question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling the over with the penalty? I don't even know why they asked the sidewalk. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. And I will connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. And it's incomplete. Clock now showing 0-0-5. Zero, zero, That's all we have left here on the board. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands, he just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere, seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out. But it's got to feel good to come out of here with a win, especially when last year's regular season rivalry with these guys was such a disappointment. No question about it. And there will likely be some chatter about how their opponent wasn't 100%. You know there's going to be some yell.
Yeah, I I use a job, I'm a win, I won't lose with this. I yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. I yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. I yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. I uh, turn the knob, camera says I'm incredible. Yeah, for the dollars, call it basketball. Uh, then I did the dash, can I catch me broke? Ooh, then I did the dash, can I catch me broke? Uh, your whole team is no competition. Boy, I did it by myself, it's a solo mission. Loud and clear, put the gas on them like I would the cavalier. Um, show no love, got the confidence, no fear. I use a dub, I'm a win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'm a echo fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'm a echo fool with this. Yeah, 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 I'm a echo fool with this. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, then I hit that. This was a game that had been circled on my calendar all year long. Going up against two legitimate defensive superstars in a rivalry game? If that kind of challenge can't get you up for a game, what will? I knew there was probably no right answer to this question. We were dealing with two all-pro caliber players, but I knew what my rival was gonna bring to the table every time we stepped on the field. Today, from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin, it's week seven of the NFL on EA Sports. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. It's a game of seven. Now this is the second meeting of the season between these two division rivals. And as was the case earlier in the year, there seems to be a more reserved and serious approach from both of these teams heading into this late season matchup than we saw last year. Yeah, I think maybe the coaches have had enough of the social media antics going into this game. From what we heard this week, they went old school and said, let's just cut this nonsense out. And to be clear, this rivalry has never needed all that off-field noise. Plenty of history between these two franchises. And this year especially, we know we don't need anything distracting us from the fact that both of these teams look like they can be Super Bowl content. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson.
So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Escaping the pressure right. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. It's another first down as they look his way again. This and it's a fumble. And the Packers pick it up. And he will bring this all the way back out to midfield. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They're going to look to throw. That's caught by the tight end, Herb Smith, Jr., and he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. That one goes for 24 yards. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. The pass. Seven yards, the pick up there. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. And he will have a Vikings first down as they get five there on third and two. Again, he'll drop the throw. Out quickly to Judy. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 16. A gain of 18 on the play. And the Vikings first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flush out. And a loose football. And the Packers pick it up. Past the 10 to the 11-yard line. And that's where the return stops. Well, that's unfortunate because... Now, following the interception, this offense will get another shot at it as so they'll quickly head back onto the field. Now, a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. I think it's pretty safe to say that initially they had to be thinking about trying to get into field goal range. But after that shot right there, they've got to be thinking bigger right now. And that was probably their thought offensively. If we hit this, great. Let's go for the end zone. If not, settle for a field goal. Looks like they can try to hit pay dirt. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. He'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. That's going to be caught by Judy. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A gain there of 21 yards. to throw flush to his right and he's going to keep it here and he'll go down here at the 12 yard line he'll get 10 there all on his own but it'll be second down the vikings in the hurry up they're hustling up to the line this is caught 
And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. They'll look to throw now on first down. That'll be complete to Cook. And he's brought down after a very nice game. So we're at halftime here at Lake. The second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half. Let's do it. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. But CD, let me ask you this. Earlier you referenced that both of these teams look like potential Super Bowl contenders, and therefore obviously very possible that they might meet again in the postseason. That being the case, are either teams maybe holding anything back, not wanting to show too much here in the second half? I'm glad you asked me that, because I truly don't think so. To me, this rivalry runs so deep on both a player and an order. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Snags it for the pick. And he is going to be stopped on the return at his own three-yard line. Third quarter action. This offense will have a first and ten as they get set for the next drive. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back to throw now on first down. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Adrian Amos, the safety, able to make the play. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. field now a loose football the ball comes out and the Packers pick it up and he's going to get this one to the 23 yard line it'll be a first and 10 coming up as this offense takes over possession of the football in the third quarter they'll come out throwing here on first down to Jefferson on the slant and he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. That time he was looking for Jerry Judy, and now it's second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And now he'll tuck it and run. The quarterback. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard game. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Now he steps away. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. 11 yards there, first down. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. A third quarter now to a one-point game as they line up second and ten. And he'll go down here 
at the 35-yard line. Heavy set out there on third and one. Back now at Lambeau. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. And he's got his tight end. That's Smith. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him ten yards on the pickup. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive, escaping the pressure right. And, oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. A gain of six there on first. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. It was Roquan Smith who got his big hand in there to knock it away. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. He's able to knock that one away. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. That's their first time getting to the quarterback sack number one, and, you know, they had five last week, I remember. And you have to find a way to slow down the pass rush, not necessarily with just protecting your quarterback, but just show them a lot of different looks, and they did that in the first half, you know, different angles, different things to slow down the speed. They got to him here in the second half. Now they've got to come up with a counter to that and maybe do something different. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. Over the middle to Smith. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Going for it all. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? That one looks like he'll throw here. And complete right side to Cook. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, they're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. This will be caught at about the five. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that is 
is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. For number 87, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Over the middle, complete. It's Smith. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. As we wrap up here, now four games removed from the beginning of the War of Words. These two teams, they do feel pretty even. Wouldn't it be kind of fitting if we got that fifth meeting in the playoffs? Absolutely fitting. That would be tremendous, wouldn't it? Because there's... And he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. Okay. I said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. Okay. okay. Look, sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of me. You can't negotiate. Great. You gon' have to pay for wait. Jugging on the main stage. Loosen up your face, baby. Take my energy before engagement. Grew up having nothing, you're labeled impatient. But once the boss made it, you're labeled amazing. Meticulous with words, that you force of nature. Boss. I don't want to seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Fo focusing on me, way from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle pockets, LRDs. Distinctive destinations, all I want to see. Ocean from residences, three different ones a week. Cause I deserve that, it's time to learn that Mess around and put that thing up where your permit Six figures every year, yeah, I earn that At the front of this line is where my turn at Sometimes you need a friend Not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in And then, sometimes you need a foe Oh Men gon' lie, women gon' lie. You're looking for the truth and the numbers don't hide. Looking for the root of all evil, then you need to go open up the briefcase, see what your eyes. Everybody claim to be great at spa times, but they never spend a day in the rain in the front line. No lie, no lie. Stop playing on my phone line. Pull up in the space group with the roof optional. Wonder why they follow suit. I've been groomed from the womb. Came out of my mama with some running tennis shoes. Faster than the speed and bullet. Nah, 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 nah. Don't play with it, baby. Say, what you gon' do? I use a dub, I'm a win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, I'm a turn the knob, can't resist, I'm incredible. Yeah, can't put a dollars, call it vegetable. Uh, then I did the dash, can I catch me broke? Ooh, then I did the dash, can I catch me broke? Uh, your whole team is no competition. Boy, I did it by myself, it's a solo mission. I'm a fool, dog. Turn the whole field to a schoolyard. But the students ain't here around here. I'm the goat, little man. And I made it loud and clear. Put the gas on them like I'm with the Cavalier. Um, show no love, got the confidence, no fear. I use a dub, I'm a win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'm a act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'm a act a fool with this. Tonight. From U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis.
after an excellent punt, this offense in a tough spot down inside their own five. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. He's at the 40. 20. 10. Touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson, 96 yards. So following the fumble, this offense will get another shot at it as they quickly head back onto the field. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. Complete. Jefferson to target. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. Minnesota Vikings. 23 yards on the play. So first and 10 now from the 30. Well, CD, this is the fifth time in the last two seasons we'll get the chance to see two of the leagues with the Raiders face off. And this time, it's with additional playoff stakes and a very public trash talk. That's a thing of the past. It appears as if these two teams are now solely focused on surviving and advancing. Well, it certainly seems that way on the surface, but I'm starting to wonder if maybe below the surface, away from us, these guys aren't exchanging some smack talk privately. You know, they can call each other on the phone. They can text each other. They can do all of those things. So I think the war of words has turned into a cold war. And not everyone is aware of what the players may be saying to each other privately. But that doesn't matter. What matters today is that these two teams are going to get together and one of them will be the next night. Bad taste in their mouth because they were knocked out of the playoffs by a team they can't stand. Seven yards, the pickup, and the pitch and catch. The quick slam caught. And the Vikings are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Offense gets set to take over. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw. It's going in by the middle cross. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. He gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. And so he runs this offense need to do to assure that they come away here with the victory. Well, thanks for asking me the tough ones there, partner. I really appreciate that. And you know that the answer to that question is that it's easier said than done because it's a simple formula when things are clicking. In their previous four games, in their two wins, they put together longer sustained drives and had bigger explosive plays downfield than they did in the other two. That's it. That's what we're talking about. But again, hard to do against a defense as talented. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll look to throw here on first down. And quickly to Judy. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They'll look to throw now on first down. That'll be complete to Cook. The pass. They call it no gain there on the first down play. Sliding out of the pocket. That's going to be caught by Judy. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Two minutes remain in the first half of this NFC Championship. A reminder, as we've done all year, we'll send you to Orlando for our EA Sports Halftime Report in a bit. The coach is with us per usual. As we start to look ahead, Charles, our potential matchups in this year's Super Bowl. Break it down, coach. Break it down. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. And Cook has it left side. And he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. That catch good for only a couple. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he gets. 
gets it down to the 32. That one a first down pickup of eight. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eye line. It's dropped at the one. They'll look to throw again. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute to go in the first half. Back to throw now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. The Vikings going to signal for their first to their timeouts. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. 42 yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. They'll toss it for it, and this is going to be caught. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. As it will come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Another Vikings first down. Back to throw again. Flush to his right. His throw caught at about the five. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get him with ten seconds to go before halftime. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter off the play fake he'll look to throw and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down he did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived and i've got to tell you you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach when you're going to get him, sometimes Packer pressure, and down he goes. Emmanuel Agba that time, able to drop him for a loss. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback, third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. The pass. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Got an older man finding Jefferson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. He was covered by Jair Alexander. On play action, they'll throw. And that'll be incomplete. Shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Oftentimes, when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. On third down, he'll drop the throw. And he completes it to Judy. That's good. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Again, he'll drop the throw. Now, CD, you know, we've talked a lot about this defense, and certainly a lot of things, a lot of questions surrounding their unquestioned leader on this side of the ball. If this happens to be his last half of football, if they don't advance, could this be the final time we see him in that uniform? That's right, partner, because we've all known that he was going to be a free agent this offseason, and he couldn't go elsewhere. Extension.
in talks with his current team broke down earlier this season, and he was vocal about wanting to make sure that he was valued. So he could very well be packing his bags and heading to another NFL city. Escaping the pressure right. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. Just and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Well, Zadarius Smith there getting in and bringing him to the ground. Back at the 13-yard line. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Incomplete. He had his hands on it but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Doug Peterson going to roll the dice here. They will go for it on fourth down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he will score a touchdown. Viking. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter. As this offense takes over first and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. And do as they take possession the play action fake they'll look to throw they're looking for Jefferson but this is intercepted so the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over they go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And at the 25-yard line. Being chased out left. He's going to take off with it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. Steps away to his left. Now he's strapped. He lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone came around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go play the lot. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Emmanuel Agba able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. The Vikings on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. Brings up fourth down. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. They want the man to Smith. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. A gain of four on the play, and on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. 
to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Dalvin Cook is running back the intended target, and it's second down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep body under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Emmanuel Ogba, his second sack of the night. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Out of the gun now on third down. five wide receivers on the field as a defender I know the ball's coming out high they expected it and got there and popped it free contest knowing that we would have a definitive winner of this chapter of the rivalry and we got it and you know this entire offense is feeling great about getting this win and moving on in the postseason they've been under the microscope for the last two years during this war of words and this win will give some bragging rights once and for all Who you talk? 
talking to Roll up that Sinatra Flatly mama to the moon She asked me what's my life Tonight It's the National Football League Super Bowl 60 Justin Jefferson. And he'll be corralled well up field right around the 40-yard line. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. For 30 more yards and another first down. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl. But they got a great answer right there. And almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one close quickly and helped force the incompletion. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. To Jefferson on the slant. And bulldozing his way through. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I know from past experience. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. And Oliver able to collapse the pocket, get to him, and drop him for a loss of a yard. On any first. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. From 10 yards out. It's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set to take over. They'll try and start this drive in the air, eluding the pressure right. That's to Dalvin Cook, his running back. That's good. And he'll have this pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, Charles, I don't think there's any question that this is the biggest moment for any one of these players in their professional career. Nothing else compares to the Super Bowl. And there's no question about it. You're right. Nothing else compares to the Super Bowl. But I will say it's possible that we might see a bit of a letdown for such an emotionally charged win in the conference championship. Getting to the big game with a win over your most bitter rival is a Super Bowl caliber win for that team. Now they've got to regroup, retool, and refocus. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Out quickly to Judy. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season. And that's his first catch of this Super Bowl. And he picks up the first down. But CD, you mentioned the possibility of this being somewhat of a letdown game. And yes, strange that that would happen in the Super Bowl. But here's the bottom line. It's going to be up to the signal caller here to set the tone. And remember... They just defeated their bitter rival in the conference championship game. 
And this signal caller was very much at the center of that public rivalry over the last two plus years. You're absolutely right. And let's face it, if he's locked in, then nobody else in the locker room has an excuse not to be. And since he's been at the center of this thing, he understands what his mission is going out in this ball game. This will be caught at about the six. That's good. And the Vikings are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Flush to his right. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. He dropped down at the two. And he will be brought down, but he's got the interception. The Vikings with the football here to begin the second quarter. Right now, we're all even. It's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set to take over. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough so apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. Give him six on the play, and that's going to make it second and 14. You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know, but what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose, and that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla, but once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The end result, 21 yards. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up there. And that one finds the ground, breaking a string of five straight completions. And it brings up second down. No third, third down. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, able to break that one up. They'll look to throw again. And that's caught by Smith. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. A five-yard touchdown. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one... That worked quite well for the defense. And Cooks has it over the middle. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process.
From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Short throw to Smith. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. throw now on first down. Complete. Jefferson to target. That's good. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive. Good for 15 and a first down. Flushed out right. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. That time he was looking for Jerry Judy. And that'll bring up second down. Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the front. Final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to take off with it. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. So we've come upon half. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated. Ready to go for the second half. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee. They'll look to throw now first down eluding the pressure right look at right sideline that's complete and he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line a good pick up there a 22 the big play to start him out has him at the 45 already now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw middle of the field to jefferson and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That's good for 28 yards. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that way. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack. But he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. His throw caught at about the five. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Really nice gain on the completion. However, still third and goal that they face now. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. Intended for Jerry. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. 
They'll look to throw here on first down. There's that man again. It's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. At the 46-yard line. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. What a moment for him. Now the offense back out onto the field as they'll take over here in the final minute of this third quarter. After the pick six, they go right back to the air toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and ten. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. But he is out of bounds, but not before. He's inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. First down. First and 10 at the 29-yard line. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Justin. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. And it's caught at the 7-yard line. And the Vikings are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. 11 more on that one and another first down. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard on the keeper and it'll be second down. Just shy of the goal line. Under pressure now and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. And Oliver. Able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't... And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. From six yards away. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Now a good job shifting right, finding his target. And he's going to be ripped down by the face mask at the end of this, and that's going to add 15 more onto the end of this thing. Tack on 15 more for the face mask, and that becomes a huge play. Big pass gets caught on you. You're doing everything possible to get him on the ground, and sometimes you end up grabbing the face mask. Flush to his right. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. Instead, it's incomplete. Boy, that really could have turned this one upside down. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He goes right back to Jefferson, and this one complete. That's good. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal looking to take the lead here in the late going. Forced out to his left. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. Offense gets ready to 
take over. He'll try and start this drive in the air. Escaping the pressure right. He'll run it. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. to take a shot here second and a yard from the 34 and that is incomplete down to 15 seconds now that time he was looking for Jerry Judy and it's third and short down and one they tried to throw on second down unsuccessful now it's third and one Flushed out right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Loss of 11 yards. And it's free and out. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Got a man, it's Judy complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty is a result of that hit there. So it all comes down here to the right foot of Randy Bullock. This undoubtedly the biggest kick of his life. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So it all comes down here to the right foot of Randy Bullock. This undoubtedly the biggest kick of his life. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So it all comes down here to the right foot of Randy Bullock. This undoubtedly the biggest kick of his life. And this won't get there. Won't be online either. It's no good. Off to the right. And these bills make the nine seem like a distant memory. Buffalo is the Super Bowl champion. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all... Lemonade. Tie me up in chains. I get through the pain. Stay sweet on my face. Like it's lemonade. Day six, falling, you let go. But I know I got an antidote to retain some kind of self control. Look inside my head through a telescope. You were raised so the calls from a telephone. No sense of smile, maybe tell a joke. Holding back your tears, singing minimal syllables. Yeah. Look at me, out the asylum. Was a fate or mistake? Cause the time ain't up yet. I pass my lane. Don't get much love if you're with me. Don't call me up. You look like a twisted Robin Hood. Do you take from the rich and the poor and us? Wearing diamond shoes where you walk your pugs in a time you could rate where there ain't no love. Still got a reflux, I drip out from the socket, so a teacup, drink up in 
outside look when they peep us. Choose us in the belly of the beast, but outside there's a war going on on your front lawn. Black hawk, see the red dawn horizon. Blind yet I'm rising, abiding by laws of attraction. My thoughts still rising. Thank you. What type of knowledge gon' sink in? Life gives you lemons, and my only thought is drinking. Mercy, will I be alive or dead before 30? This all that concerns me early. Lemonade quenching my inner rage when it takes center stage way before they pouring on my grave. Been it made, let it set my soul ablaze. On each and every way, put me in the water for the save. They don't know my name. So your rival didn't end up signing, but there was a fresh face in the locker room the following year. Who signed with your team? There probably wasn't a more sought after free agent than him. Everyone on our offense knew our ceiling would be raised thanks to him. 